This is Jonathan, uh, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on my new binoculars. Um, these are the Celestron Cometron 7x50 binoculars that I got from Amazon. Uh, they are about $34, and I will put them. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so that you can check them out. Um, so this is the box that they came in uh, in the mail by Amazon. I already got it opened up, and uh, let's just see how they came through. So. Opening them up, it didn't seem like there was a lot of packing in here, so it is kind of worrisome that they didn't get too damaged uh, during the shipping process, and that, that's all that came in that box. Um, so this is how the binoculars come in. It looks like uh, just a bag that's wrapped around the box itself. So let's go ahead and take the box out. Put that to the side. And these are the binoculars. The, again, Celestron, Cometron, 7x50 binoculars. Um, so I went through many forums and articles trying to find the best binoculars uh, for a budget price and these are the best ones that I could come up with. Um, I was looking for a telescope for the longest time but I really wanted to learn the stars first before I jumped right into a, an expensive telescope. So uh, I decided to pick these up and just kind of expand my knowledge on astronomy and um, get my feet wet in a way. So here are the different languages of uh, specifications. Uh, then the back they are here in English. They'll tell you things like the magnification, the objective lens diameter, which is 50 millimeters, uh, given by the second number. Uh, you have the lens coating. Uh, it's multi-coated. Angular field of view is 6.8 degrees. Um, linear field of view is 357 feet or 119 meters at 1,000 yards or meters. <clears throat> the close focus is 26.2 feet at 8 meters or 8 meters. The eye relief is 13 millimeters. The exit pupil is 7.1. And the prisms are BK7. And this, uh, these binoculars are also water resistant. So that's pretty nice. Um, I was also looking for a binocular set that I could take uh, while hiking. And that wouldn't be too heavy on my neck either. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this um, uh, into this box. So opening up, uh, the first thing is the Celestron uh, binocular neck strap. So this looks pretty heavy duty. Uh, we'll get that get to that in a minute. And then the next thing is the binoculars themselves. Nice little uh, binocular manual. And the binoculars come in this nice uh, Celestron carrying case. So we'll go ahead and have a look inside. And then here are the binoculars. Comes with the lens cleaner, microfiber, seems like, lint free. And then the binoculars themselves come wrapped. And uh, my first impression is uh, they seem pretty heavy duty. They have this about this like rubberized coating around them. Um, feels definitely like metal with rubberized coating. Uh, they have these lens caps for the eye holes and uh, lens caps for the lenses themselves to keep them uh, nice and clean. Uh, yeah, so these are the binoculars. They seem seem really nice, pretty heavy. Uh, from my understanding, uh, the right eye focus is focused using this actual uh, multi-adjustment knob, and then the left one is used using the middle one here. Um, I could be wrong though. These are my first pair of binoculars, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then you can adjust the width of the binoculars like so. So these are the binoculars. And then here we'll look at the neck strap. And uh, this neck strap seems pretty heavy duty, has a nice thick padding on it. Uh, seems pretty long. And uh, you just attach these, uh, these ends to the bottom of the my binoculars here. Cool. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more content coming as I um, 
get my feet more wet in the astronomy field and I start looking at buying some telescopes and I'll be doing unboxings of those telescopes as well. Um, I'll be doing a review of these, seeing how well they do, uh, looking at the stars. I'll try to take some video through the lens, although that might not look so well, but just to give you an insight of what these uh, binoculars, um, what the power that they can do. Um, so yeah, just make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to see more content. Thank you.